Welcome to Morning Prayer at St. George's Anglican Church, Paris, on Wednesday the 30th of December. Today's readings are taken from Psalm 113 and John chapter 1, verses 19 to 28. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. You lay the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of heaven and earth. To you be praise and glory for ever. As your living word, eternal in heaven, assume the frailty of our mortal flesh. May the light of your love be born in us, to fill our hearts with joy as we sing. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Blessed be God forever. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exult in my God. Who has clothed me with the garments of salvation and has covered me with the cloak of integrity? As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth puts forth her blossom and the seeds in the garden spring up, so shall God make righteousness and praise, blossom before all nations. For Zion's sake I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest. Until her deliverance shines out like the dawn, and her salvation as a burning torch, the nations shall see your deliverance, and all rulers shall see your glory. Then you shall be called by a new name, which the mouth of God will give. You shall be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem in the hand of your God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Word of God, Psalm 113 From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. Alleluia. Give praise, you servants of the Lord. O oh, praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. The Lord is high above all nations, and his glory above the heavens. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. Who is like the Lord our God, that has his throne so high, yet humbles himself to behold the things of heaven and earth? He raises the poor from the dust, and lifts the needy from the ashes to set them with princes and with the princes of his people. He gives the barren woman a place in the house and makes her a joyful mother of children. Alleluia. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. From the rising of the sun to its setting, we praise your name, O Lord, May your promise to raise the poor from the dust and turn the fortunes of the needy upside down be fulfilled in our time also, as it was in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. 
The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, upon them the light has dawned. You have increased their joy and given them great gladness. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest. For you have shattered the yoke that burdened them, the collar that lay heavy on their shoulders. For to us a child is born, and to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. And his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish and uphold it with justice and righteousness, from this time forth and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. A reading of the Gospel according to John. This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. Then they said to him, Who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said. I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now, they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, Why then are you baptizing if you are neither the Messiah nor Elijah nor the prophet? John answered at them, I baptize with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know, the one who is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. This took place in Bethany, across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The word of life, which was from the beginning, we proclaim to you. The darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining, the word of life which was from the beginning. That which we heard, which we saw with our eyes and touched with our hands, we proclaim to you. For our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of life which was from the beginning, we proclaim to you. To us is born a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord, and all the heavenly hosts now sing, Glory to God in the highest. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of his salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, 
and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. To us is born a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord, and all the heavenly hosts now sing, Glory to God in the highest. We offer intercessions for the day and its tasks, for the world and its needs, for the church and her life. We pray for the church, especially in places of conflict. We pray for the Holy Land, for peace with justice and reconciliation. We pray for refugees and asylum seekers. We pray for homeless people. And we pray for families with young children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image, and yet more wonderfully restored us through your Son, Jesus Christ, grant that, as he came to share in our humanity, so we may share in the life of his divinity, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, who has called us out of darkness into his marvellous light, bless us and fill us with peace. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.